my name's Andrew Sixsmith. I'm director of the Gerontology Research Center here at Simon Fraser University. Uh, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, the 22nd annual John K. Friesen Conference. And uh, we're going to be looking at taboo topics in residential care. Uh, just a little bit about uh, the background to the conference. First of all, if you, if you look on the front of your brochure, uh, the conference uh, uh, br brochure, you'll see that uh, Simon Fraser say, University says that it's engaging with the world, okay? That is a major part of our uh, remit here at the uh, Gerontology Research Center that uh, we just not particularly interested in doing research for its own sake, but doing research that will have benefits to, the, to wider society, um, particularly uh, with a view to improving the help and support uh, to seniors uh, who, who need it. Um, gerontology is emerging as a, as a key theme within social policy, and we see almost every day in the newspaper articles uh, to do with aging populations. Um, certainly, uh, one of the key themes here is the, the health and well-being of, of baby boomers. Okay, so the baby boom generation uh, uh, recently began to retire, and we're going to see more and more baby boomers uh, uh, in, in the senior population in, in coming years. Um, one of the challenges here is how we're going to be able to provide um, appropriate health care to meet growing demand in future years. So generally, uh, gerontology is a, a topic that is really exciting to be involved in as a, as a, as a researcher because it's, it's an area that is, uh, is, is really uh, uh, growing in terms of uh, its social policy relevance. The topic of the conference this week, taboo topics in residential care. I just wanted to start by giving a little bit of background to, uh, to, to why this happened. I, I'd like to tell you a little bit about my own story, about why I got interested in research in, the, in this area uh, in the first place. Um, my, early, my first ever research job was in what might be described as a lunatic asylum uh, back uh, maybe three decades ago, uh, back in England. Uh, in a, in a, a mental hospital uh, on a psychogeriatric ward uh, that consisted of uh, 12 elderly gentlemen who had no idea where they were. Um, the mortality rate in that place was 50%. Half the residents died or in a period of a year. And, I, I went, and that really... Um, worried me. Uh, the sort of care that we're providing in that place uh, was not very good at all. Um, and kind of created a natural aversion in me to institutional sorts of care. We certainly have come a long way since then, but some things remain the same. And some of the topics we're covering to today, for ex uh, uh, over the next couple of days, for example, restraint. Perhaps we don't restrain people in the same ways that we used to do 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, you know, tying people with uh, belts to beds and, uh, and things like that. But maybe we restrain them in other ways. And these are things that we really need to, uh, to deal with. Um, I actually ran a conference on taboo topics uh, back in the early 90s when I was working at the University of Liverpool in, in England. Um, and this seems to still capture a chord 20 years later. Uh, the, the reason why we chose, the, chose this topic uh, was that um, uh, when we were planning the Friesen Conference uh, last year, uh, we, uh, an, uh, there had been an article and quite a lot of news coverage about uh, a resident uh, actually killing another resident and that, uh, that the police had arrested uh, this gentleman, and he was being um, uh, uh, you know, facing charges of, uh, of manslaughter. Um, in our own research, we'd come across num numerous uh, examples 
of resident on resident um, um, violence. And we actually found this quite a difficult issue for us to deal with uh, within our own research project, to the extent that maybe uh, we really did try to brush it under the carpet and not think about it, because it was kind of a difficult thing uh, for us to uh, uh, work with. So, this topic of this topic of resident on resident violence. Um, within our own research project, we were not sure how to deal with this problem. There was no clear help, either legally in term or in practice guidelines. The sorts of things that we tend to sweep under the carpet, keep quiet, and hope that the problem goes away. So really, the topic of taboo topics is really to address these uh, head on, and hopefully the discussion over the next couple of days uh, will really uh, will take us forward on that. So that's why this year's Friesen Conference, we thought it was a good idea to focus on, uh, on to taboo topics again. Um, we have a fantastic program of, uh, of, uh, of talks over the next couple of days. Uh, we've got some great panelists, and I hope that the, the, uh, the, the various sessions will stimulate a lot of discussion. And I hope really that the, this event is going to be interactive, that it's not just going to be about people uh, standing up at the uh, table here and talking about these, that will really uh, stimulate discussion uh, within, uh, within the audience. Uh, we, we're covering over the next couple of days uh, a number of uh, really crucial things and, uh, and, and looking at the the size of the audience here, I think this really has struck a chord. Uh, we're going to be covering topics on theft and financial abuse, uh, alcohol, drug and tobacco use, uh, the topic of sexuality, uh, oh, that's today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be looking at uh, issues around restraint, medication and death and dying. Uh, so we have some excellent speakers, we've got some excellent panelists. And it looks like we've got a, re got a really good turnout. And I hope you find this uh, a, 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 an interesting and worthwhile uh, couple of days. I just wanted to s finish with a few words about uh, the people who have supported the JK Friesen series over the last 22 years. Um, John and Marta Friesen, uh, who provided uh, endowments uh, for the conference series uh, over the years are unfortunately no longer with us uh, but uh, uh, certainly they live on in our, our memories. I'd also like to uh, uh, thank uh, Tom Kinlock who's with us in the audience today. Tom? Hey Tom. Tom was a great friend of, uh, of John Friesen and has, uh, has been really very generous in providing support uh, to, to our series. Uh, I'd also like to thank Lorna Court. Is Lorna in the audience? Hey, Lorna. <laughs> Lorna is also one of our great benefactors. And uh, really their, their generosity over, over the years has, uh, has really made uh, these events uh, very, very special. Uh, and we hope to go from strength to strength over the next few years. So again, uh, welcome, and uh, I hope you have a really interesting and stimulating couple of days. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Gloria Gutman from the Gerontology Research Center. I had the privilege of knowing John and Marta Friesen right from the beginning of this series and for a few years before that when the vice president uh, at the time, Jack Blaney, brought John to our office in the Gerontology Research Center and he said that he wanted to have a series that would deal with contemporary issues, hot topics. 
And I think we definitely have, have done that over the years, but particularly this year. So I'm delighted at the large number of people who have chosen to join with us.